Welcome to this tutorial in which we will be talking about how you can import assets from Sketchfab into your Unreal Engine projects. Let's just jump into it and see what we will be doing today. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So this is more or less what we will be creating in this tutorial. I'm just dragging in a few assets and uh, yeah, this is the result. Starting off, we want to get a Sketchfab plugin. I will link this address uh, in the bottom in the description of the video. And this uh, specific page here goes through essentially everything that needs to be done. And what we need to do is we need to go to this page. And here we can download a zip for the corresponding version that we want to make use of. So doing that, downloading the version that you want to make use of, and then following these instructions of where to put it. And we'll resume the video from there. Now that I have the zip downloaded, me personally, I will be creating a project installation for this. So I'll go to the project directory. You can choose to have it on your specific engine version if you want to as well. So this is me inside of my project and I can just create a folder called plugins. And inside of this, I'll create a folder called Sketchfab. And inside of here is where I will put the contents of the zip file. Now, having put the files here into this folder, we now are ready to start the engine. And for me, starting this project up, this is what it looks like. This is Unreal Engine uh, Early Access version 2. Uh, Unreal Engine 5, in case I missed that. So going on in under edit now and going to plugins, we can now type in sketch and you'll see sketch fab appears over here. Uh, it should be enabled by now. Uh, from having the plugin, if you didn't have it activated, you might need to restart your engine. Now having the plugin activated, we have a new set of uh, options here in our window tab. So we can go to asset browser, the asset browser, will show us a display of, of a few different assets. But the very first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you're logged in. If you don't have a Sketchfab uh, login, you can go to their web page and create one. Now having logged in, you can see that I'm currently logged in here now. And now I can browse around, uh, looking around at different assets that Sketchfab has available to it. And there is a lot of features here. You can go for different categories for something specific you're looking for. You can look for specific kinds of uh, high poly or low poly models. You can have a lot of sorting options. And you can also uh, click in if you want to have them animated, staff picked, or if you want to search uh, your own local Sketchfab uh, inventory or the things that you have bought on Sketchfab. I'm going to be unclicking the staff picked and just get something uh, random. So uh, let's go for an X-Wing, for example. So here we can uh, see that we have a bunch of different X-Wings available and we can sort maybe most liked. And then we'll probably get the ones that are of highest quality, possibly. And now it's very simple. Everything that you need to do is you just need to find something that you like. So this one, for example. You can double click to open it up if you want to. You can download it from here. Or you can just uh, click uh, download selected over here. And then you'll get a progress bar over um, the download. And once it's done, meaning that it's completely blue, all you need to do is just drag and drop it into a folder in your contents. And you get to choose a few different things. I would suggest that you click in the import it to new folder, meaning that it will create a folder where it will put all the assets related to the asset that you are currently downloading. Just click import and it will sort everything else out. Now, something to keep in mind is that you should probably keep track of what different licenses the different models are under to see which ones are available to use commercially, which ones are costing money, uh, if you need to do some kind of attribution in the form of uh, mentioning who created it and such things. You need to make sure that you are uh, adhering to the licenses for the model that you're interested in using. Anyway, 
So here we now have all the assets uh, available. You can see that it has created a material out of the different textures. We can just mark all of these, press save, and we can now drag this into the level if we want to. And that's how easy that is. So that's all you need uh, to get assets from Sketchfab into Unreal. I hope you found this useful. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.